Beautiful Plumbers Crack. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardy Miss Prime here doing another Transformers figure review. Uh, we're doing five figures all at once right here. These are the Mastermind Creations, not Predator King, but Feral Rex Combiner figures. I gotta give a big thanks to my friend, Mr. Joe Capone, for getting me hooked on these things. He set me up with the first two. Check out his toy store. It's called Toys and Sports. Link in the description below to his Facebook page. And if you're outside the San Francisco Bay Area, you can get him a bad order. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I can't tell you how much I love these figures. I like all three modes a lot. Uh, they're beast modes, they're robot modes. I mean, these robot modes are incredible. They have tons of articulation on them. Uh, you can see right over there, Fortis, or I mean, uh, yeah, Fortis, not headstrong. Uh, you know, the Rhino one charging forward. He's standing on one foot. He's not leaning on any other figures or anything. He was actually like that overnight. I set this up last night, and this is just cool. He's just staying like that the whole time. Uh, I guess my favorite one would have to be Talon, not Dive Bomb, all the way over there. Uh, my least favorite of the bunch is is Tigris, not Rampage, uh, the one all the way to the right. I really like how all of these figures have these little side panels to their thighs to make their legs just look a little bit thicker and a little bit more in proportion with the rest of their bodies. I just think that these are designed really well. Their articulation is awesome on all of them. They all have ankle pivot. Uh, just the fact that they have these two kinds of weapons where you get guns and some kind of knife or sword. I just think that's incredible. I especially love that I'm able to use the Marvel Legends clear stand right there for Talon over there. I, I just think it's really badass. Let's do some quick size comparisons and get these guys vanilla posed. So when all the figures are side by side, you can see Leo Ducks is clearly the tallest one, with Talon being the shortest. And Leo Ducks measures to be at about 8 inches tall to the top of his head, and Talon really isn't that much shorter. Now taking out Fortis and Tigris, you can see Masterpiece MP10 Optimus Prime, and then the G1 Classics repainted Optimus Prime right over there. I think these guys actually stand in Masterpiece scale when I see them next to this MP10 over here. I believe this to be Masterpiece scale. I think these guys would be too tall to be in Classic scale with this Optimus right over here. And here they are next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. All these figures also come with emergency joint pieces in case you break the joints on any of them too. So I really like that, but the plastic is very, very strong. I, I think it's very durable. Anyway, let's get to the transformations and show off their beast modes. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? And here they all are in their beast modes, looking incredible once again, all carrying every piece you need to build Predaking. King. I absolutely love that. Obviously, you get these feet right over here on top of Fortis and Brovis over there, uh, which doesn't really bug me too much because it makes the size kind of even out a little bit. Uh, Tigris over here has this giant cannon on his back that's only resting there. There's not a real port for it, but it does look good like that. I like having it over there, and it's not too tricky getting it balanced. For Talon being a hawk, he actually does have a lot of mass to him compared to the other ones. So they all kind of even out. Leo Ducks has some really small paws for the size of the figure, and I think his ankles are actually kind of weak. It gets really hard getting him to stand. I don't mind the back metal black for the shoulder cans. I actually think that's really cool. I think Talon looks great. That's my favorite one out of the set. Bovis is really cool over here. Bovis and Tantrum have the same transformations. Uh, there's ways where you can actually twist around the back side of each of these figures. So if you look at the back side of Tantrum right over here, and then looking at the back side of Bovis uh, right over there, you can see that you can turn him around and make him a little bit different if you want to do that and then right over here rampage you know he is the smallest one and there goes that cannon but he's actually you know he doesn't have too bad of a beast mode over here i do like this i'm getting a profile shot of leo ducks right over here you know he's got a lot of stuff on his back you can take off these swords if you want to and then there's the shield or slash uh, crotch flap you know for the predator king but yeah this is looking pretty cool and i have seen these guys with the repro labels i might get the repro labels but so far that looks really good and even though you move these in and out these pieces of his lion's mane. Uh, they don't really scratch the gold plastic. And then looking at Talon right over here, you know, this looks really, really cool. I do think it does look a little bulky where his robot arms are, but for the most part, I really like this. Here's the gun saw, the figures right here, and they do combine into one gun. 
Wow, this thing is awesome. I love the gunmetal on this. I like the black paint, nice silver right here on the back. I mean, this is just a really cool weapon. And I like how you can still move this in and out over here. So it does maintain its function still. Oh man, the sculpting and detail in this. This is really cool. I just love how this combines. If I just saw this firsthand right away, I just wouldn't think it was a combined weapon over here. So it does attach to his forearm and I will show that off in a second. And then we can take all the blades and swords and everything from these different characters, including the gut filler from Leo Ducks and Leo Ducks' tail, and then we will combine it into one big ass sword, which is gonna look awesome. Take us away, Bumblebee! Oh my god, this sword is freaking monstrous, man. Look how big this thing is. I mean, I'm just holding it like here. It's like, damn. It's like a real knife. And to the tip of the blade over there, to the very bottom of the handle, you're looking at 15 inches long, man. That is crazy. Not only that, but I just think it looks really cool. I really like this beige color, and you get some silver in there, too. I think it's really nice and reflectant, and it looks awesome. Man, I just think this is a great piece. I really like it a lot. And you'll see Feral Rex holding this in a second, but it is kind of a bummer that this tends to swing in and that kind of irritates me. And here they are without all their weapons, so I think they look actually better like this. I like seeing all these beast modes like this without their weapons. And one thing I wanted to mention too is that I love the articulation for all of these figures. Alright, let's see this guy finally combined into Predaking or Feral Rex. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? Oh my god, look at this freaking thing, man! This is just too awesome! I absolutely love this figure. The silhouette of him, just the build of it, I just think it looks amazing. And Predaking's not even my favorite Transformer. I absolutely love this, and he has one extra function. Check this out, check this out. Look at this. Boom! Light up eyes! Yeah, his visor section lights up red. Big thanks to Theron for that. I still have the cell batteries that you gave me. I believe these are 1.5 volts, and they're called AG4s. It takes two of those little cell batteries. I just think this looks looks incredible and I haven't even given him his weapons yet. This is just an amazing piece. Now he does get tricky getting him to stand. He's so big, it's so hefty. The plastic is very strong. Let's try to get a 360. Oh my god, this thing is too freaking awesome. Now you can shift in these Leo Ducks legs a little bit more than that to make them a bit shorter and stumpier. I prefer not to. I like this figure standing very, very tall. This is just incredible. I absolutely love this piece. Uh, this foot's kind of there we go. Oh man, this is just too sick. Now if I really did my lighting over here, you could see that his visor is shining red, but as I brighten things up, it looks yellow, but it is showing red as I'm looking at it in person. Regardless, that head sculpt, it is awesome. I really like it a lot. I think it's really cool. These guys right here are not fragile. Like I keep saying, the plastic is very, very strong with this. I really dig it a lot. The plastic is strong with this one. I like how the tigress and talon heads kind of match up pretty well. They look pretty even. And I know there's that seventh piece that's a saber tooth tiger that's basically a repaint version of Tigris. It's supposed to make his arms look more even. I think that's some nonsense. I don't need that. I'm perfectly fine with this over here. I do get a little annoyed though at the right arm kind of slouching a lot on me compared to the talon side. This seems to be very firm. Uh, this tends to lose its shape for me and that gets a little irritating but still I don't know it's not the worst depending if I balance it right there are moments where I can get it hit staying in the air like that which is pretty cool so it's not even the worst it's just very tricky and I like how the hands look on this I do get a little irritated with this little section right here with the talons talons you know but still not a big deal I really like the hands on this thing this is awesome Oh, I just absolutely love this piece, man. I really like this. Crotch plate actually makes a huge difference for this figure. It is a very, very important piece of this figure. Uh, you do not want to lose this because as soon as you remove this, yeah, it looks really, really weird. That's not good. Unfortunately, this shifts inside over here once in a while. That can be a little annoying too, but overall, I mean, I'm just still very pleased with this figure. I just think it is too awesome. Now, Feral Rex has a lot of articulation. You can get him to look up that much. Uh, turning from the side, he does look up that much. He he can look down very far, which is actually more important because he's so huge. He can rotate his head side to side and you do get some neck pivot due to it being on this ball joint. And like I said, the shoulders can move outward. You can't move them forward. He rotates at the bicep and he bends in at the elbow, not quite 90 degrees. Uh, it can bend a little bit more going the other way, but it's meant to go like this. Uh, you can rotate the wrist side to side. They don't really hinge in and out. And he does have thumb articulation with a hinge in the middle of the thumb. And then each of the fingers are individually articulated with a hinge inside each finger 
which is great. Now he does have a waist joint right up here, which is awesome. I like that. And his legs can move all the way outward. He can kick very far forward. Um, he can rotate at the upper thigh. You can get him bending at 90 degrees at the knee, but it's a little tricky. It's kind of weird. Ankle can rotate side to side. You do get ankle pivot and it doesn't really move down and up that much, but it is kind of there. And there's also toe articulation. And of course the wings are articulated. You can move all of these feathers individually. You can move them back. You can move them inward if you want, and you can move them downward like that. Now, of course you want to see Feral Rex totally weaponized. Oh, look at that, man. Oh my God. Look how big that sword is. This is just a masterpiece figure over here. I will say I do like for weapon storage, you can place his giant sword right there on his back easily. Kind of just hangs there. That's pretty nice. Now, I want to say to the top of his head, Feral Rex is standing actually at around 15 inches tall. Then here's Classics G1 Repainted Optimus Prime and our MP10 Optimus Prime over here. So it looks like Perdiq King is actually fitting into scale with this Optimus Prime, right? Optimus is supposed to be that short compared to Predaking. I'm surprised that it's not actually even taller, even though I'm very happy with it. But I could have sworn it was going to end up being tall enough to be into Masterpiece scale. But I think Feral Rex here is still a little too short for that. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. And here's Feral Rex compared to my G1 reissue Predaking, so you can see the obvious resemblances between the two figures. And here he is compared to a couple other third party figures. We have the TFC's Not Devastator over here, and we have the Fans Project Not Menasaur. And I love all three of these figures. This guy used to be my favorite figure of all time but this one takes the cake I just really like it a lot this one I like very much I had actually done a full review of this and lost all the data that I had recorded uh, I was very very frustrated so if you want to see me review this Menasaur figure over here similar to how I just reviewed this Feral Rex let me know in the comments below and of course here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man and here he is with his shoulder cannons deployed and the sword just coming right at you I absolutely love this figure he's a little tricky to pose because he's so big and he's so heavy but I still really think it's worth it because the posability is awesome on this figure overall. I like seeing these shoulder cannons sticking out over here. I just love this figure a lot. I love all three modes for these figures. I just think it is an incredible piece, man. I highly recommend it. It is pricey, but so are all the other third party combiner figures out there. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out tformers.com for the latest in Transformers news and check out shardimusprime.net for my daily blog. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Then getting the little profile, then getting a pro- oh. Hey, don't be a bitch, you hot man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button already if you haven't. Come on, man, hit that subscribe. Watch one of the videos below. Hi.